Dear friends, this video is chapter 1 of basic skill of piling rig. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. We will discuss about a overview of different types of piling rigs and their types. B components and systems of a piling rig. C benefits of piling rig. D safety considerations and best practices of piling rig. We'll start presenting a new topic now. A overview of different types of piling rigs and their types. Piling rigs are heavy machinery used in construction and civil engineering to drive piles, vertical structural elements, into the ground for the purpose of providing support for buildings, bridges, and other structures. There are several types of piling rigs, each designed for specific applications and soil conditions. Here is an overview of different types of piling rigs and their variations. 1. Board piling rigs. 2a. Rotary board piling rigs. These rigs use a rotating drilling tool, such as an auger or bucket, to excavate soil and create a borehole. Reinforcement cages and concrete are then inserted into the borehole to form the pile. 2b. Continuous flight auger, CFA, piling rigs. CFA rigs use a continuous auger to drill into the ground, and as the auger is withdrawn, concrete is pumped down through the hollow stem, forming a continuous pile. 2. Drilled shaft piling rigs. 2a. Double rotary head piling rigs. These rigs feature two rotary heads working in tandem, which allows for the simultaneous drilling and casing of boreholes in challenging soil conditions. 2b. 2B. Triple rotary head piling rigs. Similar to double rotary head rigs but with an additional rotary head for increased drilling power and efficiency. 3. Driven piling rigs. 3a. Drop hammer piling rigs. These rigs use a heavy hammer that is raised and dropped to drive piles into the ground. They are commonly used for timber or concrete piles. 3b. Vibratory hammer piling rigs. Vibratory hammers generate high-frequency vibrations to reduce friction between the pile and soil, making it easier to drive the pile into the ground. 3c. Hydraulic hammer piling rigs. These rigs use hydraulic pressure to drive piles into the ground. They are suitable for a wide range of pile types and soil conditions. 4. Sheet piling rigs. 4a. Dedicated sheet piling rigs. These rigs are specifically designed for installing sheet piles, which are thin, interlocking sheets of steel or other materials used to create retaining walls and cofferdams. 5. Micro-piling rigs. 5a. Micro-pile drilling rigs. These small and versatile rigs are used for constructing micro-piles, which are small diameter piles typically used in limited access or restricted areas. 6. Caisson piling rigs. 6a. Caisson drilling rigs. These rigs are used for constructing caissons, which are large diameter, cast-in-place concrete cylinders often used as foundations for bridges and other structures. 7. Tubular piling rigs. 7a. Tubular piling rigs. These rigs are specialized for driving tubular steel piles into the ground, commonly used in marine and offshore applications. 8. Helical piling rigs. 8a. Helical pile installation rigs. These rigs are used to install helical piles, which have screw-like helical plates and are often used for underpinning existing structures and in environmentally sensitive areas. 9. Jet grouting rigs. 9. 9A. Jet grouting rigs. While not strictly piling rigs, these machines are used to create soil cement columns by injecting high-pressure grout into the ground. They can be used for soil improvement and stabilization. Piling rigs vary in size, power, and capabilities, allowing them to address a wide range of construction challenges and geological conditions. The choice of the appropriate piling rig depends on factors such as soil type, project requirements, accessibility, and budget constraints. B. Components and systems of a piling rig. A piling rig is a complex piece of machinery used in construction for various piling and foundation work. It consists of several key components and systems that work together to perform the necessary functions. Here are the main components and systems of a piling rig. 1. Base structure. The base structure of the piling rig provides stability and support for the entire machine. It is typically mounted on tracks or wheels for mobility on construction sites. 2. Mast or boom. The mast or boom is a vertical or inclined structure that supports the drilling or piling equipment. It can be raised, lowered, and rotated to position the drilling tool accurately. 3. Winch system. A winch system is used to raise and lower the drilling tool, casing, or piles into the ground. It is an essential component for the vertical movement of equipment. 4. Power unit. The power unit provides the necessary hydraulic, pneumatic, or mechanical power to drive the rig's operations. It includes engines, pumps, and other power sources. 5. Drilling equipment. 5a. Drill head. The drill head or tool is used to penetrate the ground. 
Depending on the type of piling rig, this could be an auger, bucket, hammer, or other specialized equipment. Equipment. 5B. Casing equipment. In certain drilling methods, such as rotary board piling, casing is used to prevent the borehole from collapsing. Casing equipment includes casings, casing oscillators, and extraction tools. 5C. Pile driving equipment. Pile driving rigs have equipment like hammers, hydraulic, drop, or vibratory, or hydraulic presses for driving piles into the ground. 6. Control system. The control system allows the operator to manage and monitor the rig's functions. It includes control panels, joysticks, and interfaces for controlling the rig's movements and operations. 7. Cooling system. Piling rigs generate a significant amount of heat during operation. A cooling system, typically involving radiators and fans, helps regulate the rig's temperature to prevent overheating. 8. Hydraulic system. Many piling rigs rely on hydraulic systems to power and control various components, such as the winch, mast, and drilling equipment. Hydraulic hoses, pumps, and valves are essential parts of this system. 9. Pneumatic system. Some rigs may incorporate pneumatic components for certain operations, such as pneumatic hammers for driving piles. 10. Electrical system. This system provides electrical power for lighting, instrumentation, safety features, and any electrically operated components on the rig. 11. Safety features. Piling rigs are equipped with safety features, including emergency stop buttons, safety barriers, warning lights, and alarms to ensure the safety of the operator and those working around the machine. 12. Telemetry and monitoring. Modern piling rigs may have telemetry and monitoring systems that provide real-time data on drilling depth, pressure, torque, and other critical parameters. 13. Counterweight. To maintain stability and balance, piling rigs often have counterweights strategically placed on the rig stru structure or attached to the mast. 14. Transportation system. Piling rigs are often designed for easy transportation between job sites. This may involve the use of trailers or specialized transport vehicles. 15. Accessory storage. Rigs typically have storage compartments or racks for tools, spare parts, and other accessories required for maintenance and operation. These components and systems work together to ensure the efficient and safe operation of piling rigs in various construction and foundation projects. The specific configuration and capabilities of a piling rig can vary depending on the type of rig and its intended application. C. Benefits of Piling Rig Piling rigs offer several benefits in construction and foundation work, making them essential equipment in many construction projects. Here are some of the key benefits of using piling rigs. 1. Efficient Foundation Construction Piling rigs are highly efficient in creating strong foundations for buildings, bridges, and other structures. They can penetrate various soil types and reach the required depth quickly and accurately. 2. Versatility Piling rigs are versatile and adaptable to different piling methods, including driven piles, drilled shafts, continuous flight auger, CFA, piles, and more. This versatility allows them to be used in a wide range of soil conditions and project types. 3. Precise pile placement Piling rigs are equipped with advanced controls and positioning systems that enable precise pile placement. This accuracy is crucial for ensuring that piles are installed at the correct depth and alignment. 4. Reduced environmental impact Some piling methods, such as CFA and micropiles, generate less noise and vibration compared to traditional pile driving methods. This reduced environmental impact is important in urban areas and near sensitive structures. 5. Increased load-bearing capacity Piles installed by piling rigs can be designed to provide high load-bearing capacity, making them suitable for supporting heavy structures and resisting settlement. 6. Time and cost efficiency. Piling rigs are designed for fast and efficient operation. They can complete foundation work quickly, reducing construction schedules and labor costs. 7. Minimal site disruption. Piling rigs are often compact and can work in confined spaces. This minimizes disruption to surrounding areas and allows for construction in tight urban environments. 8. Safety. Modern piling rigs are equipped with safety features and systems to protect operators and workers on site. Safety interlocks, emergency stop buttons, and safety barriers are common features. 9. Improved soil stabilization. Some piling methods, such as jet grouting and vibro compaction, are used to stabilize and improve soil conditions, enhancing the overall stability of the construction site. 10. Longevity. Piles installed by piling rigs are designed to last for the lifetime of the structure. They are resistant to corrosion and can withstand various environmental conditions. 11. Reduced foundation settlement. Properly installed piles can minimize foundation settlement over time, ensuring the long-term structural integrity of buildings and infrastructure. 12. Adaptable to challenging sites. Piling rigs can work in challenging conditions, including sites with high groundwater levels, rocky terrain, or locations near existing structures. 13. Quality control. 
Piling rigs allow for consistent and controlled installation of piles, reducing the risk of errors in foundation construction. 14. Environmental Compliance Some piling methods, like helical piles and micropiles, have minimal environmental impact and are considered environmentally friendly. 15. Foundation Design Flexibility Piling rigs enable engineers to design foundations tailored to specific project requirements, including load capacity, settlement criteria, and soil conditions. Overall, piling rigs play a crucial role in ensuring the stability and durability of structures. Their efficiency, precision, and adaptability make them an essential tool in the construction industry for creating strong and reliable foundations. D. Safety considerations and best practices of piling rig. Safety is a paramount concern when operating piling rigs, as these machines involve heavy equipment, complex processes, and potentially hazardous conditions. Adhering to safety considerations and best practices is essential to protect the operators, other workers on site, and the integrity of the construction project. Here are some key safety considerations and best practices for piling rig operations. 1. Operator Training and Certification 1A. Ensure that operators are adequately trained, certified, and experienced in operating piling rigs. 1B. Regularly update operator training to keep up with technological advancements and safety protocols. 2. Pre-operation inspection. 2A. Conduct thorough pre-operation inspections of the piling rig, checking for any signs of damage or wear on components, hydraulic systems, winches, and safety devices. 2B. Ensure that all safety features, such as emergency stop buttons and safety interlocks, are functioning correctly. 3. PPE, personal protective equipment. 3A. Require all personnel on or near the rig to wear appropriate PPE, including hard hats, steel-toed boots, high-visibility vests, hearing protection, and eye protection. 4. Site Assessment 4a. Perform a site assessment to identify potential hazards, including underground utilities, nearby structures, unstable soil conditions, and overhead power lines. 4b. Establish clear safety zones and implement barriers to keep unauthorized personnel away from the rig. 5. Safety Briefings 5a. Conduct safety briefings and toolbox talks before starting each work shift to review safety procedures, potential hazards, and emergency protocols. 6. Communication 6a. Maintain clear communication between the rig operator, ground personnel, and other workers on site through the use of radios or hand signals. 7. Stability and leveling 7a. Ensure that the rig is positioned on stable ground and that it is leveled properly to prevent accidents due to tipping or instability. 8. Load Handling 8a. Follow safe procedures for loading, unloading, and securing piles, drilling equipment, and other heavy loads. 8b. Use appropriate rigging equipment, such as slings and shackles, and inspect them regularly for wear and tear. 9. Emergency Procedures 9a. Develop and communicate emergency procedures for situations such as equipment malfunctions, hydraulic fluid leaks, and incidents involving personnel. 9b. Ensure that all workers know how to use fire extinguishers and first aid equipment. 10. Traffic Control 10A. Implement traffic control measures if the piling rig is operating near roadways to prevent accidents involving passing vehicles. 11. Noise and Vibration 11A. Implement measures to control noise and vibration, especially when using impact hammers or vibratory equipment. 11B. Provide hearing protection for personnel working in close proximity to the rig. 12. Environmental considerations. 12a. Adhere to environmental regulations and best practices, especially when working near water bodies or in ecologically sensitive areas. 13. Regular maintenance. 13a. Establish a regular maintenance schedule for the piling rig to ensure that all components, including hydraulic systems and safety devices, are in good working condition. 14. Documentation and Records 14a. Maintain records of equipment inspections, maintenance, and safety training for both operators and other personnel. 15. Continuous Monitoring 15a. Continuously monitor the operation for any signs of issues, such as unusual noises, hydraulic leaks, or equipment malfunctions, and take prompt corrective action. Safety is an ongoing process, and it is essential to adapt to changing conditions and continuously improve safety practices on the construction site. Regular safety audits and feedback from workers can help identify potential hazards and enhance safety measures for piling rig operations. Friends, we have explained in brief about overview of different types of piling rigs, components and systems of a piling rig, benefits of piling rig, safety considerations and best practices of piling rig.
We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.